Hello everyone and welcome. This tutorial video is about introduction to Python programming. Now what is Python? Python is a general purpose programming language. It's also considered as one of the easiest programming languages to learn. Now, Python is highly readable because it uses white space indentations to delimit the code blocks rather than using curly braces. Now here is an example of what I'm trying to say. The left side code is uh, a Python code and the right side is a C-sharp code. Now if you look at the Python code, um, there are two for loops. The second for loop is inside the first for loop and it's mandatory in Python to use white space indentations to make the compiler understand that the second for loop is inside the first for loop. The same implementation which is done in C-sharp this also has two for loops. The second for loop is inside the first for loop, but uh, delimiting of the code blocks is done using curly braces. So, uh, just by looking at the C sharp code, it would be difficult to understand that uh, the second for loop is inside the first for loop. The same thing, it's easy in Python just by looking at the code, how it is uh, structured, right? So, this is the reason we say Python is highly readable. Some of the big companies like Google, Yahoo, NASA, Red Hat, IBM and many others use Python. So what can you do with Python? Python has a lot of libraries and packages with which you can do almost any sort of work. For example, you can do web, web development using frameworks like Django, TurboGase, Web2Py, game development using Pygame, data analysis using Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy, machine learning using Scikit-learn, natural language processing using NLTK, image processing using OpenCV, deep learning using TensorFlow, and the list is endless. Installing Python. Uh, I'm going to show you two methods. First one is the Anacondas and the Python download. This should be enough for you to get going with learning the Python code. Now, first one is um, Anacondas download. Right. Mm, let me just resolve the. Okay, the first method was uh, Anaconda download. Anaconda is a product from Continuum Analytics. Uh, the reason I am using Anaconda is because it has a lot of packages pre-installed. So if you want to install any new packages, it would be easy to install it. And one more thing is it has something called as Jupyter Notebook. It's a very user-friendly IDE to learn um, Python coding. Now you can just install uh, the either 64 or 32 bit version. Just download it and install with the default options. Uh, I don't think that would be a problem. Now the second method is uh, Python download from the official website. Um, Python.org is uh, the official website. Now again you can download and install with the default options. Uh, let me just show you how to use Jupyter Notebook. So you just type Jupyter Notebook and um, the Jupyter Notebook opens up in, uh, in in your default browser and this is how it looks. Uh, you have to write your code inside this gray box. Let me just quickly rename the file as uh, first python program. Right. Uh, let me quickly write print hello world uh, first line of code. Now in order to execute this line of code you have to simply press shift plus enter. Um, there's some problem. Okay. 
you have to press shift plus enter and um, the output will be below this block and this is uh, very user friendly right so it would be very e easy to learn coding in this way i think this should be enough for you to get going with learning um thanks again and we'll see you again in the next video